you worried about rising interest rates causing a housing market crash? This is all over the news line right now. The RBA has been going hard and fast in their rate hikes and this is perfectly normal to be worried about whether the housing market will take a big dip this time. So in this video, I'm going to address three key points to consider when making a property purchase decision. Because the last thing you want to do is make your decisions based on emotion, fear, rather than fundamentals and logic. So let's get on to the three key tips right now. So the first key point is interest rate hikes doesn't mean price falls. Why is that? Well, let's look at historical data. The past rate hike cycles, there were about five of them in the past 30 years. Every single one of them, interest rates actually end up higher than they were after the rate hike cycle. And on average, it has been about 40% after five years. So what the assumption or the, the media or the doom and gloom on the headlines is saying, oh, market's going to crash immediately because of interest rate hikes, it doesn't mean that. Now, that doesn't mean that you got them buy property right now because it end up 40% higher. That's not what you should be doing. Remember, past performance doesn't indicate future performance. So one must be prudent as to you know, their financial situation and it really depends on what you want to achieve out of property investing. Really, it really depends on your risk profile, your cash flow. Your, it's a lot of things to consider. So just don't go out there and just you know, buy anything. You'll be very careful about what to buy right now. So remember, interest rate hikes doesn't mean price falls. Keep that in mind. So for housing market to actually crash, you know, 20, 30, 50%, you need two things. One, high unemployment, so very few jobs and everyone who wants a job doesn't have a job. And two, very, lots of forced sellers and no buyers there. So very high supply of housing um, stock on the market and very low p demand as no one wants to buy them. But right now, our unemployment rate is 3.5%. That's what the latest stats have shown. That's the lowest in 50 years. So everyone wants a job that has a job. Look at all the ads right now. Lots of baristas oh, looking for baristas. You know, the cafes are looking for kitchen hands as well. So. There are lots of jobs going to run now, so that will act like as a floor for any massive house prices drops. So don't be too concerned about massive drops. It's all a natural part of the cycle. Power prices, you know, goes up. Flat lines might go down a bit, but it goes eventually it will creep back up. So look at the long term average of Australian house prices over the past 100 years. It's always done quite well as a stable long term investment. Now the next point is, this is a very, very big one because you've got to understand that there are markets within markets. So most of the media headlines about, oh, crashing markets, interest rates got to kill the market, usually they're talking about Sydney and Melbourne, the two biggest capital cities in Australia. Now we know Sydney and Melbourne, right? Lots of, it's the most expensive cities in Australia, the most um, leveraged as well as in debt levels. So they, of course, they're more prone to interest rate rises. So of course, now the data has shown in August, right? Sydney has dipped about probably 7 to 8% already from this peak in two. 2021, Melbourne about 5-6% ish around there. So of course they are taking a dip right now. There's no questions about that. So what we're gonna understand is there are still some markets such as some regional Brisbane, there are some pockets in Adelaide, Perth is still you know performing quite strongly, they're still holding their ground. So what does that mean? Is if you're actually considering making an investment purchase kind of cyclically, because you know in the past all these dips, you know, take a look at 2017. 2019, you know, when the Melbourne and Sydney market dipped about 10, 15%, which is one of the biggest corrections um, in history. Who, whoever bought during then, they made a killing in you know, 2020, 2021, right? And also the GFC between 08 to 2010. You know, whoever bought then, they had the write up to 2013 and onwards. So, what does this mean for you as a um, you know a person who wants to invest in the next property or a first home buyer or first time investor? Is don't don't invest at the peak of the market. You know, there's lots of people who bought at the peak of the market last year. Now they're kind of copying it. So when market sentiment is actually down, what that means is it is a great buying opportunity. Right now, it is a buyer's market. You don't want to be the person last year who was fighting against 50 other bidders in an auction and it gets sold like half a million dollars above the reserve price. Right now, there are very, very few competition and 
there is more stock on the market coming spring. So this is a very great opportunity for you to snag, what well, not I want to say a bargain, but a good opportunity to buy at a better price than last year. Now, I've got to be very careful, back to my point about markets uh, within markets, make sure to pick a market that's not at the peak of the kind of the cycle. So I will name three markets to be very, very careful of, which I wouldn't really um, touch myself as an investor. Number one is Sydney, two, Brisbane, Metro Brisbane that is, and three is Melbourne. Those are the most prone right now to a mass, to a correction right now, you know. And I'll, I'll probably presume that it will be quite similar to the 2017 to 19 correction. So that's kind of my gut feel. Um, but don't take me for that. I don't have a crystal ball, but I won't be touching those. Those are the highest risk markets. There are some better pockets to buy, you know. Like for example, you know, I've been seeing some good good strength still in Adelaide, in some areas of Perth, and in regional um, in Queensland, regional as well. It's still very pockets but you gotta be understand the research and you gotta be able to understand the markets within each of those suburbs as well so be very careful and this is a very great uh, quote to consider before you're making decisions is about from Warren Buffett the rising tide lifts or ships but when the tide goes out you know who is swimming naked what that means is everyone made a killing last year or 2020, right? It's, it, it, all markets in Australia went up at once. But right now, you've got to be very prudent as to your property selection, your location selection, because right now, not not every market is going to go up like it did last year. So you've got to be very, very, very careful. Don't listen to those spookers, the stuff, the selling you stuff, because you know they're probably very biased towards a certain location. Please do your own independent research. Please assess your own situation before making a purchase. That's the, probably the key thing is to, to protect yourself from you know, the right hike cycle and also any protecting your downside as well. So always talk about risks. You know, you got to protect your downside. It's not about how much money you want to make. It's about how you can protect your downside and maximize your upside at the same time. Most people, most brokers talk about the gains, tax deductions, all the stuff that you'll gain, but what about the downside risk, which is quite prominent right now? So in this channel, I'm gonna talk about a lot more about the downside risks and what to consider when making an investment purchase. So that's the end of my um, video for today. So the question we're asking, will interest rate hikes crash the Australian property market? In summary, probably not. Uh, it's very unlikely for it to crash, you know, 20, 30, 40 percent. I reckon, you know, Sydney and Melbourne might come to roughly 15 percent correction this cycle, but I don't have a crystal ball, I have no idea, but that's my kind of my gut feeling um, from my experience. And there are other pockets that are still doing very well, even despite the interest rate hike cycle. So, this is when key research takes place. So hopefully this gives you a bit more peace of mind, a bit more objective about what to consider when there is a rate hike cycle, what you can do to protect yourself, and you know, what other markets to consider besides being Sydney or Melbourne being solid in those kind of markets, okay? So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video soon.